Be seated, please. <laughs> members of the Senate, members of the House, ladies and gentlemen. Back in the year 1971, Richard Nixon, the President of the United States of America, declared war on cancer. We find that more people each year die of cancer in the United States than all the Americans who lost their lives in World War II. The National Cancer Act was the beginning of a massive effort to fight against this devastating disease. Nowadays, 45 years later, a very significant success has been achieved in preventing cancer and in curing cancer when it's in early stages of development. Nevertheless, we still have serious lack of resources to fight cancer in invasive stages. And we have to broaden the battlefield. And we have to focus not only on the tumor itself, but in the microenvironment that surrounds the tumor and enables the tumor to reach the bloodstream and provoke metastasis and sooner death of, of the patient. We envision a very smartly orchestrated approach to cancer treatment focused not only on targeting the epithelial cells, the tumor itself, but on targeting as well the microenvironment of extracellular matrix and cells like cancer city fibroblasts that are helping the tumor provoke immunosuppression, metastasis and death. A coordinated effort by European scientists have rendered a very broad knowledge about the tumor microenvironment and we are focused on backing them, we are focused on helping and collaborating with, with them to fight the tumor microenvironment. I, Laureano Simon, an European citizen, an European scientist, declare war on tumor microenvironment. I declare war on cancerous trauma.